Hi everyone, I am Pulkit and in this video we are going to talk about how you can maximize your score in quants. So I graduated from IIM Ahmedabad in 2021 and before that I appeared in quant, uh, sorry CAT a couple of times. Uh, quants has been one of my favorite subject and uh, also one of the strongest. However, I have noticed that a lot of students actually get panicky or nervous around quants. So I want to make this video to uh, just let you know how you can revise in these last seven days or uh, how you should attempt uh, questions in the examination, how many questions you need to attempt for a particular percentile. I'll talk about these three different things. Uh, now talking about the revision strategy, there are roughly six or seven uh, areas in uh, quants, I would say. Uh, starting from arithmetic, algebra, number systems, geometry, uh, modern maths, coordinate geometry. Uh, yeah. uh, so there are six or seven different areas. Now I'm not saying that you should revise all of them. You should revise uh, three or four areas which you are very good at. Uh, I would suggest you know on a personal note to uh, revise uh, arithmetic, algebra and geometry because around 70% um, of the paper would be from these three different topics uh, arithmetic, algebra and geometry. We have also uploaded a number of videos uh, where uh, like we have done, we have solved previous year CADS questions and we have explained concepts in uh, use in those questions. So that might also help you a lot. Uh, so uh, this was my review. This is my basically how you should revise. The second thing is uh, how you should attempt uh, the question in examination actually. So you would get 40 minutes and uh, you can actually uh, divide your exam in four different parts, right? According to your and according to your target percentile, you should attempt a particular number of questions in all of these uh, sections. Say uh, there is a 40 uh, <clears throat> minute exam and you only need to score say uh, 40 marks right so uh, for scoring 40 marks you need around 12 or 13 correct uh, answers now um, in f so which effectively means that in first 10 minutes which is one fourth of the paper you would need to get only three correct right in every 10 minutes you only need to get three correct and don't be surprised when i tell you that if you get three questions correct in Every 10 minutes you would get 12 questions correct and you would get a 99 percentile right in uh, quants specifically right not in entire but in quants specifically you would get 99 percentile if you only attempt three questions uh, in each 10 minutes and that is something that I also did I divided my paper uh, in like three or four different parts and after that I made sure that I'm attempting a particular number of questions in each part of my uh, section. Uh, so this was how you know you can attempt the examination for students who are relatively weak uh, or uh, you know if you're not looking to um, if you are strong or uh, weak in particular topics I would say uh, go through the entire question paper there is a question paper button in the examination which would display the entire question paper at once so go through the entire question paper select the questions from the topics that you are strong at solve those questions first and then move on to the topics uh, in which you are weak in so uh, for example I would select questions from arithmetic uh, really fast because I'm really good in arithmetics uh, I would quickly solve all of those questions uh, those that I can't solve in arithmetics I would leave them uh, then I would move to say algebra or geometry and uh, so on right so start from the strongest leave the weakest for the last part right uh, and uh, you know it is very easy to determine and you should know actually which of uh, the areas is actually your strongest and your uh, weakest as well now uh, it is you can determine it uh, by uh, viewing previous mocks or you know in the upcoming days you can choose to solve CAD paper and which you would uh, previous year CAD paper you in which you would find out uh, which of the quants areas is your weakest and which is strongest. Um, typically, typically what I found is the areas in which I am weak I am spending more time and my accuracy is low. So it is hindering me on both of these things. It is giving me negative marks plus taking a lot of time. So uh, I like to start with areas in which I am very strong with. Uh, so these are my two different strategies that you should use and that you can use in the examination. The first strategy is more for the students who are uh, aiming at high 99 percentiles. The second strategy is basically for anyone who wants to score uh, uh, between 90 to 96, 97 percentile. Uh, I think uh, using the second strategy scoring 95, 96 percentile would not be very difficult. Uh, now talking about the, my third point uh, what score you would need for uh, different percentiles. So I have the scores pulled up right here on my screen. For uh, 
uh, 99th I would say you need around 37, 38 marks, which is around 13 questions, right? Uh, 13 or maybe even 12 questions in this CAT examination. Um, if you are aiming at solving 12 questions, you can easily divide it into four parts. Just solve three questions every 10 minutes and you would, you would get 99 percentile in quants. Uh, if you are aiming at 95 percentile, you uh, would need around 25, 26 marks, which means around 8 to 10 questions. Uh, if you again, you know, divide it into sectional, it seems very minuscule, like two questions every 10 minutes, right? Five minutes per question, basically. Uh, and even then you would be able to get 95 percentile, uh, which just uh, blows my mind away. Um, for 90 percentile, the bar is even lower. Uh, you need to get only 18 marks, just six questions correct, uh, which means roughly one, one and a half questions or, you know, in 20 minutes, just do three questions. Uh, that would be more than enough. Even if you prepare one of the areas very nicely, right? Even if you do complete revision of uh, arithmetic, uh, you know, you can easily get actually a 90, 95 percentile. So uh, these are, you know, three major points that I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, from the experiences that I have had, uh, from the scores that I have had. Um, and uh, thanks for watching uh, so far. And I will update the link uh, to the playlist of the video uh, in the description, uh, in which uh, we have uh, uh, done uh, quants revision. So um, thanks for watching. So, uh, bye bye.